Yes. Good morning, children. Today we are going to do the topic energy. Energy is the capacity of doing work. Its unit is joules. For the bigger units, we use kilojoule, and one kilojoule is equals to one thousand joules. There are different forms of energy, like potential energy. kinetic energy heat energy chemical energy electrical energy and light energy kinetic energy is the energy which is possessed by body due to its motion and it increases with the increase in the speed of an object kinetic energy of a body moving with certain velocity is always equals to the work done on it to make it to acquire that velocity the derivation of kinetic energy can be given if an object has a mass m and it starts from rest and attains a velocity v after applying a force f on it then work done on the object is f into s let the acceleration produced after applying force on the object be a so using the third equation of motion we know that v square minus u square is equal to 2 as and s is equal to v square minus u square upon 2 a we know that force is given as f is equal to m into a substitute f and s in the equation w is equals to f into s substituting the value of f as m into a and s as v square minus u square upon 2a we get work done is equals to half mv square if initial velocity u is 0 so work done of an object is equals to change in kinetic energy of the object so the formula to calculate the kinetic energy is half mv square second type of kinetic energy is potential energy children the energy possessed by an object due to its motion is kinetic energy but due to its position or shape is called its potential energy for example the water stored in the dam has large potential energy due to its height above the ground a stretched rubber band possesses potential energy due to its distorted shape we have different types of potential energy on the basis of its position and change in the shape of an object children we have gravitational potential energy we have elastic potential energy gravitational potential energy is the energy possessed in a body due to its position above the ground and the energy possessed by a body due to change in its shape is elastic potential energy like when we stretch the rubber band it has got elastic potential energy the expression of potential energy is can be defined as the potential energy is equals to the work done over an object m to raise it by a height h so the potential energy is mgh where g is acceleration due to gravity and then comes law of conservation of energy children that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it is always transformed from one form to another the total energy before and after the transformation always remains constant if you want to see that proof of law of conservation of what of uh, energy you can see that there is a body of mass m which falls from a height a which is at a height h from the ground as seen in the figure ye dekhi this is height a the object is falling from this height a this is height and this is ground c at this point a it has got maximum potential energy but the kinetic energy is zero as its velocity is zero but due to its height it has got maximum potential energy when it starts falling down at point b you can see here it is in the center where kinetic energy and potential energy is are equal as when it falls down from a height 
its potential energy starts decreasing but kinetic energy starts increasing at point b the kinetic energy and potential energy are the same now when it again starts falling down on the ground now here potential energy becomes minimum and kinetic energy starts becoming maximum and at point c you can see the potential energy becomes zero but before touching the ground the kinetic energy is maximum why potential energy is zero because the height is height is zero and potential energy is only because of its height so the total energy at every point you will see that it remains constant okay children yes ma'am 